<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How do I get out of the console? Uh. Um. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. That was weird. Okay. So if you guys don't know by now, this is the new Rust. Now, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a new engine and stuff like that that they've been working on for a while for Rust that came out like months ago and still in alpha of course as you see on the top right and it's kind of hard to record so there's probably gonna be some FPS lag in this video and uh, that's just because it's really wonky with recording I don't know why I had to use fraps and audacity or audacity I guess to record this video and uh, it still didn't work that good <laughs> Uh, I was getting like probably about like 40, 50 FPS without recording. Then I started recording and it was like 30, 20. It was really weird. I don't know why. But uh, there's, is there a guy in here? Hello? Oh, that's so cool. It's like the... That didn't work. <laughs> that's so cool. So as a lot of you guys may know, if you played the rest, the new one, there is a new crafting system right here in the top right. I need to actually figure out how to craft a a stone hatchet. So I need 200 wood, 100 stones. Now the thing is, wood piles aren't really that easy. There's like a light on the right now. What? It must be a bug. Oh, there it goes. Uh, but it's not really that easy getting wood piles now, considering that wood piles are always looted by people. Especially in areas like this, so I need to try to get away from these people. They're going to be stealing all my resources that I need. But there seems to be a lot of rocks in the area, so that's going to be easy. So, uh, we need 100 stones. How much do we have? 81 already, so I just need to loot a little bit more rocks. There should be a rock where there's a lot of stones right here. Yeah, it's getting a lot of stones. There we go. Looting about 20 of these, and I'm leaving. There we go. All right. Now I need to find a tree somewhere. But uh, I did figure out the game is running a little bit better now that I ran away from the bases. Uh, it's running at like 40 FPS, so that's not bad. Uh, it was running at like 20 when I was over there with all those big bases, so I think that's probably the reason why. They do have to fix stuff like that inside the game. So far, the Rust developers, uh, I don't know if they are or aren't. I know that the Rust currently runs a lot of CPU, so if you're one of those guys who doesn't have a high-end, you know, gaming PC, you just have a laptop, it's going to run on your CPU, it's going to run pretty good, I guess. Not right now, of course, because they haven't rendered a lot of stuff, but it's going to run, you know, at least decent. So, just like the other Rust. Oh yeah, warning, there's going to be some nudity in this video, so if your mother's in the room watching... Make sure she gets a close look of what you like to watch on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's actually, it's censored, so it's alright. I don't know when they applied the censor, but yeah. Whenever I streamed this game, it was not censored, so. It was kind of awkward to my viewers, so. Sorry for all you guys that had to see my winky when I played this game. Oh, here's a tree over here. Okay, let's go loot these. Oh, and there's the dog. The dog statue's over there, so that means that there could be loot over there. Unless if a player already looted it, which probably happened. There's like 30 players on the server right now, so. Let's try to see if we can get wood. And we can, alright. Damn! 30 wood. Holy shit. So, how much do we need for a stone hatchet? 200, okay. It's not gonna be hard. We just need 170 more. There we go. We should be good now. Stone hatchet. So now it's crafting. Now, I know that they have fixed this to where you can actually run while crafting now. Now, I think that's actually really cool, but uh, it could also increases the crafting time. So, that's kind of a bad thing, but, you know, it's alright. I can wait. I'll just run to some other places while I wait for it. Might even get some more wood, you know, craft some other stuff. Yeah, I think I could use a hammer. I don't know what. I forgot. I think the hammer is for... Oh, wait. There we go. It's crafted. No, no, it didn't. What? What just happened? I think it just it stopped. That was weird. Alright. 
Now, as you can see, there seems to be a potato rising out of the sea. Now, Gander, as the potato rises, and its elegance of its beauty. Oh, wait, no, that's the moon. Sorry. I thought it was a potato. <laughs> now, I don't know how long nighttime is in this game. Apparently, the moon is just now showing, so... Yeah, it's been about, like, if you guys want to know how long it's been since, you know, it turned nighttime, just look at my inventory. I now have 19,000 wood. I don't know how much I had before. Probably, like, like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, maybe something like that. But, yeah, I have 19,000 now. And as you guys may know, I now have a spear, too. And I, uh, this is a stone spear. I made this, uh, like a while ago. I don't know if it works. It probably does, but, you know, yeah to ward off them enemies. I don't know if you guys can see it properly too because it's nighttime, of course, but you know, it's it's probably gonna be nighttime for a long time as I can see, but uh, I can pull up my torch now. If you guys haven't seen this, this is actually really cool. They now have like better torch animations than before. So the torch like puts up like this and you just run around with it. Now I think this is so much better than Rust Legacy when it comes to the torches because of the fact that, you know, Rust Legacy, the torch was on your right and it just got in the way. And uh, on this one, it just it goes on top, which is really cool. There used to be a bug too, where the torch, if you hit with it, it would just it would go on the right. But I guess they fixed that like a long time ago. Remember, I haven't played this in a while, so. Also, in third person, it still shows it the regular way. So. <laughs> now, here's a base up here. Let's go see if we can loot it. Like we can. All right, can I close this? Oh, close door. There we go. I might make this my base. I really like this base. It looks really cool. I just need to know how to make a lock. So let's go ahead and look at this real quick. This is such a cool base. So I need to learn how to make a lock. I don't know how to make these. So it's probably gonna be. Uh. Here we go. Code lock. 50 metal fragments. So I need to make a tool cupboard. What is this? Make it so you can build on a 50 meter radius of it. If you want your friends to build, they'll need to authorize two. You should protect this. Really? Oh, it's like, wow. <laughs> it's like a plot pole, I guess. I don't know. Instead of a uh, daisy mod, I think it's like a plot pole. So we need to make a furnace. I don't know where the furnaces are. I'm not sure. Oh. Wow. Completely passed it. So I need 10 low grade fuel. And I think I have I think I have the stuff for that. So low grade fuel. No I don't. I need animal fat and one cloth. So I don't have animal fat or one cloth. So this is going to be a problem. I think that you know right now they actually froze the hunger and thirst. Currently. Either that or it's just glitched. So let's go ahead and try to kill this. Okay, that's very laggy. That is very laggy. There we go. Killed him. <laughs> Poor little antelope. <laughs> I need to loot him now, so you guys probably won't be able to see this, but let's go ahead and try. Them bone crushing sounds. Oh. There we go. That gave me 27 animal fat. So we should be able to build low grade fuel now. And uh, if I remember, it does, yep, it gives you 10. So now I can build a furnace. And that won't take long. It's just going to take like an hour. <laughs> but uh, I can now build a furnace. And I guess we might build a tool cupboard because I think we need that to build. So yeah, <laughs> I'm probably going to build that somewhere in the house to where people can't get to it through the window. Maybe like, the, you know, the back right corner from the entrance. So we'll probably do that. I can also build some trousers and stuff now, so I might, I might just build some pants because you know I think I need some pants, of course, as you guys know. But uh, ooh, what was that? That was weird. All right. So here's our base. You try to get in here. This is probably gonna be the worst part. I'm probably gonna change this soon. Probably really annoying. <laughs> Running away from some bandits and just get stuck trying to get into my own base. 
It's just the best thing ever. That's the dream. I can't actually get in there. There we go. All right. Just close that door. And I'm going to go ahead and put down a furnace if I can. I don't know if it'll let me. But we're just going to go ahead and try. So six for the furnace. I'm going to put this down like right there. I don't think that they'd be able to take it from me if it's right there. So now I'm going to put in some wood and I'm going to put in some metal ore. So let's go ahead and put in like, I'd say like a thousand wood and put in all of this metal ore. Now, if you guys don't know, there is, of course, a new system to gathering stuff in your inventory. If you guys could see me do it right there. And what happens is you have to drag from le top left to bottom right. And it gives you even more. If you go top left, it gives you even less if you go bottom right. I don't know if you guys know about that yet, but it's kind of cool. But it's kind of also really annoying. I really like that menu. I don't know if this will cook in here. Raw human meat. What? killed a bear, or I killed a dog and a deer, and it gave me raw human meat. That's just great. <clears throat> so there goes the metal fragments. How much do I need? Code lock. 50. Okay, so that's not that much. I already have, like, 17,000 wood other than that 1,000 inside there, so that should be easy to get. Alright, <laughs> so as you can tell, that took a long time just for those 24. I went to go get a glass of, not water, but just some, some Coke, and <laughs> already daytime. It's been like probably, wow, that was like 8, maybe 10 minutes. I don't know how long that was. It was near that, it was near that area though. So just that long, we only got 27 metal fragments. I don't know about this, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out. That might be, you know, glitching it. Making it not produce fast enough. I'm going to make a campfire just for those, so. Go ahead and reignite that and uh, make a campfire. This campfire is just going to cook all this stuff. I think you do need a campfire for this, so that was kind of a bad decision. But our pants are ready, so let's go ahead and put those on. And I'm still blurred out. <laughs> it's still blurred for the pants. That's just, that's the best. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. I think I can actually turn the blur off, too, so uh, let's do this. Sensor, nudity, space, zero. I don't know if that will do it or not. No, it won't. I think it's sensor that. No. I don't know the new command for it, but, you know, I think that was right. I'm not sure. But, you know. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, so our campfire is finished now. So we're going to go ahead and put this down right around here. This isn't really that important. They don't take that much to build, so... I'm going to go ahead and not ignite the fire. Okay, let's just go into it. I'm going to put all this meat in here. Actually, I'm just going to put two because it's going to make charcoal. And we're going to put about... I don't know if I can get like 500 wood. I don't think I can. Just go ahead and split this. And then we're going to go ahead and take out like 100. That should cook that. I'm not 100% sure about the cooking in this. But, you know, let's just see. So now we got a furnace and a fire ignited. It is daytime, of course, so we can go out now, you know, and... I can show you guys daytime and stuff. I couldn't before because you guys wouldn't be able to see anything. But did that just say occupied? Okay, that's bugged. Uh, Alright. Let's go ahead and see what's cooking. So we're at 40 on that. Alright, what about these? Are these cooked yet? I don't think they are. Nope, still raw. Oh god, this is going to take forever to get back in, isn't it? This might be easier in first person, actually. Oh. Yeah, look, that was so easy. Compared to third person, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and check on these again. It's cooked! Oh! So these are now cooked, so let's go ahead and extinguish this. And let's see. Cooked human meat. And this one's cooked, too. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Eat. That actually brought up my thirst, too. So, I guess, you know, 
for that. You just you eat stuff and they'll bring up your thirst too. That's kind of weird, considering it's food. But you know, I guess that the game still is an alpha, so they're still trying to fix stuff like that. But you know, I give them props for that. So now that the code lock's ready, let's go ahead and build this over here. Let's see if this will work. So I don't. I'm, I might go outside to build this because I don't know if it's gonna be good inside. Six. There goes that. I need a click. <laughs> so there goes that. Change lock code. I'm gonna make this something simple. Like, uh, let's let's do zero six three nine. There we go. <laughs> that that made a really cool noise. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna put this on a notepad too. So zero six three nine, and let's go ahead and try it out. See if it works. That's so cool. So it does it by itself. So I don't have to uh, actually do it. I don't have to enter in the code. I don't know if you're gonna have to enter in the code later on. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, it might be a time thing, you know, like, maybe you can't, you have to enter in the code, like, uh, in an hour or so. Every hour, you know, but it's pretty cool. So now it's locked. <laughs> that is so cool, Rust. I really like that. So, I'm just gonna check this off. Raw, raw. Yep, alright. Let's go ahead and start that up again. And let's get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna look for animals and such to get cloth. I don't want to run into anybody yet because people probably are looted compared to me. Which I'm not really that looted. I have a spear. That's it. <laughs> but uh... I'm gonna try to go kill some animals. I think that's an animal over there actually. Holy shit. Um... I can actually hear somebody building. Hey. Hi. Hola. Hola. Amigo. Me es friendly. Yep. Oh, can you hear me? Do you know, or do you speak English? English and French. All right, so I'm I'm friendly, man. I'm friendly. Is this your? Is that your village down there? Uh, no, I just uh, starting on the server. Oh, nice. You want to be buddies? Like you know, I help you, you help me. I just I just waiting for friends, but uh, yes, uh, yes, but not now. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Well, we can we can be friendly, you know. I won't hurt you. You won't hurt me. As long as you don't hurt me, I won't hurt you. You know, stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> this is my base up here. So I just like put a padlock okay. and stuff on it. Anyways, see you later, man. I'm gonna go loot and stuff. Bye. That guy seems very untrustworthy. So, of course, whenever I go to a base like this, I'm gonna have an FPS lag. If you guys wanna know, right now I have 23, 20 FPS. It just went down. 22. Around that area, about 20 to 25 FPS. Just by this base, and that's insane. It's at 19, 17. It's just, this is how laggy Rust is whenever you build something big like this. And we should all work together to stop building like this now. <laughs> but uh, that is insane. It's insanely laggy. Like, look at this. Look, it's just like, you look this way, 40 FPS solid. Or like, above 40 FPS. Oh, so good. Look this way, 20 FPS. It literally lowers by half. Insane. It's just, that's, I don't know, it, it should just be, you know, the developers, they should fix this, definitely. I don't know why they haven't yet. I bet you it's probably a really complex problem inside the coding and 
you know, uh, engine and stuff. I don't know how that stuff works, so I'm just blabbering out words that I know that you have to <laughs> do whenever you make a game. But, uh, yeah. Something wrong with it, I guess. That's really complex. And it's pretty, pretty hard to fix, I bet. But let's hope that they fix that soon, you know, maybe, maybe in the near future. And we don't have to go to a rust where it's just so laggy. And I'm going to go ahead and swim across here. I'm going to go to my base. And I'm actually going to end the video there, too. So we're going to end it there. <laughs> yeah. I swear, I'm going to build some stairs on this door. This is very annoying. <laughs> just to get into this one door. You know what? Here, one sec. <laughs> I think I have stairs. Stairs. Actually doesn't show me how to build these, though. I think that's stuck. God, this is going to take forever to get in here. There we go. Finally. <laughs> God, it took forever. Anyways, this is going to be the end of the video, though, guys. I am going to do a few announcements, though. If you guys don't want to hear them, of course, you know, you guys can go ahead and end the video here. It's all right. You know, thanks you for watching. But uh, anyways... Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the new Rust, the new engine, you know, the new graphing stuff. I want to hear what you guys think about it. You know, leave a comment. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as you guys know, in the description of the video, if you guys are buying off Amazon, click a link down there. You know, you don't have to pay anything. It's all right. You can buy it from, uh, you know, Europe, like anywhere in Europe, I think, uh, you know, in U.S., Canada, and stuff like that. Click the link down below, you know. And uh, just buy, if, if you're going to buy like a new headset, just click the link, you know, it, it charges you nothing. It's just, it's a good way to, you know, help out the YouTube channel, help out the stream and stuff. If you guys watch on Twitch and, uh, you know, if you're going to buy off G2A, click the link down below, of course, you know, it charges you nothing. Of course, it's just a referral link. It's really cool. And it also helps out. But other than that, though, thank you guys for watching the video. Like the video if you liked it, you know, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment about the new Russ. I want to really hear what you guys think about it. But other than that, though, see you guys next time. Peace out.